In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take one saying and make three different designs. What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print on demand business. So for today's video, I got very inspired by a saying that somebody sent me that I thought was funny. And as I went to Pinterest to do my research, I saw that there was a lot of different ways to make this design. And so I thought I would show you guys how to take this one saying and quickly make those three designs, but focusing on being efficient with our time. And so not spending all day on these designs, but seeing ideas and being able to recreate them quickly. They're mostly text-based, so they're fairly to the point, um, but we still are innovating in the space by using uh, a few different tools and I'm going to show off a unique way to get curved text. It's not perfect, but you can actually get some curved text inside of Spark. So let's go ahead and jump into Pinterest where I'll show you the saying and then we'll jump into Spark and actually start creating these three designs. So here we are inside of Pinterest with our saying typed in. The saying is I have a good heart, but this mouth and it's dot, dot, dot uh, is usually how these designs are ending. So there's a few different designs that are not all that exact saying but maybe I'll just pull up the three that I felt the most inspired by uh, and we can talk about them. So those two and then this one and let's go through each one of these. So I've got a good heart but this mouth dot 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 and so this is the one that I was talking about with the curved text that inspired me. I was like oh yeah we could create that inside of Adobe Spark and if I can zoom in here a little bit it's just two different fonts with the curved text and then maybe some dashes that we'll add in here uh, and then see how that all looks. So we're going to be taking inspiration from this one uh, and using this as one source of inspiration, but we do want to do three designs today. Uh, and so this next one, very simple, but I really like this style of shirt. Uh, again, I've made a lot of shirts like this where the uh, text kind of fades into the shirt. I found that they are good sellers whenever you can fix in humor um, with a saying like this. And then this last design that we're going to innovate on, if I zoom in here, uh, this one's very straightforward to the point. We can just use capitalize and fit to get this top bit here. Uh, but then mouth will be its own word uh, down here in its own font and probably its own text box. So we can overlap it uh, above on these words that are in this capitalize and fit structure. So I just thought these were three very good examples of ways that you can create text only designs, uh, but still keep them interesting in Adobe Spark is a perfect place to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into Spark where I've got our art bar art board, excuse me, already set up in 4,500 by 5,400 sizing. And I've got the saying already typed in here. And what I'm actually going to do uh, is I'm going to drag this out and split my screen in half. That way we can look at our inspiration on the left hand side and still be designing on the right hand side. Uh, so we can start with this one. This one's a fine uh, design. So I'm going to double click on my text there and actually cut this out. Um, so I've got a good heart, but this um, is going to be all together. And what I'm going to do is reorganize this just into a nice square uh, and put that up here at the top. And then I'm going to use our capitalize and fit saying or um, setting and not just center align. So when I hit this, it's actually going to change the font sizing of this good heart line uh, and make everything fit inside of this box that we have drawn out here. I want to make sure that's center and towards the top because this is going to be for a shirt design first. Uh, and now now what we can do is we can either go into add and add new text or we can just go ahead and duplicate this out uh, which I'm more of a fan of so I'm going to duplicate it double click here and then paste in mouth dot 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 and what I'm actually going to do is change the font on this one uh, and so that's one design um, you could spend a lot more time fiddling with this finding the exact font I'm not a thousand percent happy with this but this is the idea of using um, a different text and kind of overlapping some of the text that's already there to bring emphasis to this even without changing the color this is all just white on a black design uh, so something we could do but let's go ahead and move into our next design that we want to create, which is uh, this one where the font will be a little bit faded. Now, this is not something I normally do, but strictly for the speed of this show, uh, I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PNG. I'm going to download it as a transparent PNG. And then once that is done downloading, uh, I'm just going to delete out what I have here, uh, or at least this mouth um, uh, part of what I have here and keep designing with the top portion. 
So there we go, our download is all set. So I have this technically saved. Uh, the reason I say I don't normally do this is I would usually go into my homepage and start up a new artboard. Uh, that way I could come back and edit this at any time that I need to. Uh, but because these designs are fairly simple and I'm trying to focus on speed, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those two things out. Uh, and I'm going to actually take out but this and then fit this up at the top. Uh, so I have a good heart. Then we can duplicate that out, bring this down, and then put in the second part of the saying, which is but this mouth, dot, dot, dot. All right, so that is gonna be capitalized and fit as well. And that looks better already, not just having it center justified, um, but I really do want to focus on heart. So I think what I'm gonna do here uh, is actually Put heart on another line so I went in here I hit enter to put it on another line and then the shirt will look like it just says I've got a good heart and if we make that bigger and draw it down and then we can put this all on one line just kind of changing up the format a little bit uh, but drawing more emphasis to the heart and then but this mouth is going to be a darker color so that it blends into the shirt so the idea is from a distance someone would see uh, the heart there the shirt rather that says I've got a good heart and and then if they got closer, they could see that it says, but this amount. All right, that is downloaded. So going into the last shirt that we're gonna take inspiration from, I'm gonna have to zoom this one out a little bit. Oh, and this is the curved text. So this was uh, something that I've gotten asked a lot. I've showed this off on a couple of our live classes, um, but I will try to do it here in this YouTube video. And I'm gonna warn you right now, it's not perfect, but it is a solution if this is something you really want to do is have some curved text. So I'm gonna once again, change this around I can actually leave this and just turn this white and move this down a little bit that's actually kind of how we want it uh, we want good and heart to be on the same I, I think I'm gonna leave my separation like this so what I'm actually gonna do is make this its own text box by cutting it out leaving heart here in the center and then I will take my add tool or we can just duplicate this out rather move this up, double click in here, and then paste in, I've got a good heart. And I'm going to want to actually cut each of these into their own, cut each of these into their own text box. So I've got to have I've, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and duplicate this out, and then do the next word which is got. So maybe you can see where I'm going with this, um, but I am just going to rotate these each individually to make them appear like they are curving um, and I've got one more trick that I can show you guys to make it um, a little bit easier to align all of this so it takes a little bit of work um, but again if you're dying to do something like this then uh, or if you have a design that really calls for it and this is what you're looking to do um, hopefully this little tip helps you in a pinch so I'm gonna go into icon and I'm gonna type in circle and that way we can have an arc to build off of. Uh, we don't have to follow this exactly, and we can actually make this bigger if we want the uh, curve to be a little bit less. Uh, so we can put this right here in the center, and then we're just gonna rotate each one of these words to line up with the curve of this circle. So again, like I said, uh, it's not gonna be perfect. You can actually see like the bottom of all these letters are actually curved, um, which makes it feel a little bit more fluent, but, uh, or not fluent, but fluid, um, but we're not able to do that here. So we have to have these workarounds. And this is one that I've used a couple of times with success. Uh, it's not my like go-to thing to do is create tech or curve text rather in Spark. Uh, but it is definitely a few designs or a few layouts that I've made uh, have called for it. And I was happy that I figured out uh, at least somewhat of a workaround um, like this, which is, again, just aligning all of these words uh, along this circle. And getting the spacing right is important as well. Uh, so a tip for that, and I'll actually bring in another icon here. I just want a regular square, or I'll even just do a line. But if we bring in a line here, we want these to kind of start and end on the same uh, level on this circle. So I can bring in this line. Um, and this is all just for alignment. These aren't actually going to be in the design at the end. But you can see I eyeballed it and it's pretty close. If I make this line an easier color to see, like pink, 
Um, you can see that where I eyeballed it to start and where I eyeballed it to end uh, does align fairly closely. So now we just have to kind of figure the spacing in between got and A. So I'm going to move the got a little bit, rotate this a little less so it matches up, and then move the A here, rotate this a little bit less. Ooh, right about there is probably good. You can delete these two circles out. And so we have some curved text. Again, it looks a little wonky, so uh, not something that I do a ton of, and you could definitely spend more time. Uh, you could even break this out into each letter and do that and really get something that looks a lot smoother. Um, but for the example, for you guys to get the idea, uh, I think that's where I'm gonna leave this. Uh, but hopefully you guys can see how this all comes together fairly quickly. So there we go. If I download this, then we have all three of our designs right Ready to upload. We've used one saying and we've had three different ideas that we have uh, been able to create here inside of Spark. And if you guys found this helpful, we do have a course on exactly the step-by-step -step process to start designing inside of Spark. Uh, I do my very best to break things down. I know I went fairly quickly in this video, uh, but you can see a link to that in the description below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this right here on YouTube of me recreating art, we have a whole playlist for you guys to watch some bingeable content, hopefully for you. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around.